Hey guys, my name is David Miller. I'm the collections care technician here at the Sky Museum and Gardens. Uh, and today we're gonna do a little uh, mini tour of the sitting room to celebrate the reopening of the second floor, which happened last week. So um, the sitting room is one of the larger rooms here at Vizcaya, and it's also one of the more ornately decorated. It's done in a neoclassical style, which emphasizes a lot of symmetry and um, a lot of rigid lines. And here you can see that there's also a lot of gold and gilt. Now, this style was popular in Europe in the 1750s and later came to be associated with actually uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. Um, and so there's a couple different um, rooms in this house that share this similar style, including James Deering's personal bedroom. So you have to imagine that he uh, he was a little enchanted with that association and that he was fond of this particular style. Now, um, the association with Napoleon, we actually have a couple different objects here at Vizcaya that uh, are connected to him. Um, one of those is the bronze sculpture of Napoleon that we have here in this corner. Um, now that's from the late 1800s and it was done by the sculptor Raffaello Romanelli. Um, now, despite the association with the famous historic general, the actual purposes of this room were a little more mundane. James Deering actually just uh, did a lot of his work in this room. Um, he was retired by the time that he came to live at Vizcaya, but he it was a family business, so he still retained some measure of involvement. So he would actually come in and work up here at this desk here, and his secretary would sit at the desk next to his. Um, hey guys, let me take a sure. quick pan so that they can see up close. And if anybody has any questions throughout the stream, please put them in the comments, and we will go ahead and address those. Hopefully you guys can see okay. So this is the secretary's desk. Um, so this desk is uh, it's a really interesting snapshot, snapshot of um, James Deering's working life, you know, his portfolios there, his pen cases are there, his cigarette cases there, an ashtray. Um, so you can imagine that this would have been a, a place where he would have spent a lot of time. Um, and so that makes this, this room kind of special. And it's, it's cool to be able to come here and see the place where the owner of the house actually spent a lot of his, his working, waking time. Um, now, there's a couple different objects in this room that I'd like to uh, point out and talk about. Just a couple cool uh, things that we've acquired. Um, one of those would be this terracotta terracotta sculpture of a centaur kidnapping a woman. Now that was done by the French artist Albert Carrier Bellius uh, in the 1870s. Um, and bronze sculptures were a little more common at the time, and they had a little more sort of artistic uh, heft. But um, this is a, a rare example of a terracotta one. And uh, if you were around for the live stream from the breakfast room a couple weeks ago, you would have seen more ter terracotta sculptures in there. Um, now, one of the coolest objects here at Vizcaya that is displayed in the sitting room is this five panel screen. Now, this was done by the artist Robert Winthrop Chandler, who actually was responsible for the um, the ceiling in the swimming pool grotto, which is again, one of our kind of more, more enchanting art pieces here at Vizcaya. Um, here, this depicts kind of an imaginary uh, discover, discovering of Vizcaya and the area around Vizcaya. It's actually called Vizcaya Bay. Um, and it shows Europeans coming to Florida on uh, a large caravel ship, which is actually one of the symbols of Vizcaya, the, the caravel. And, um, the more you look at this screen, the more kind of Floridian and Viscayan detail that you'll be able to pick out. There's palm trees with coconuts, there's alligators, um, there's flamingos, all the kind of stuff that you may come to uh, associate with South Florida. Um, Robert Winthrop Chandler actually spent time here at Viscaya uh, preparing to create this screen. So a lot of the details that you see are directly pulled from the area surrounding Viscaya, which makes it kind of a cool um cool homage to uh, the place that it, it ended up at. Um, another interesting object here is the rug, actually. Um, this rug is a French woolen rug from the 18th century as well. And something that I always found interesting about this piece was that it was originally a square rug and they thought that it would fit better in this room if it was circular. So they actually added on um, different 
pieces at the end to round it out and make it um, make it a, a circular rug. And if you were to come and, and visit the sky, you'd actually be able to see from the visitor area a clear line of demarcation in between the original rug and then the addition on on the other side. And I think that that's kind of a cool um, a cool thing to be able to observe. So you can actually see it right here. You could see a clear like seam basically in between the original rug and the addition that they made later on. Um, this rug has uh, a long and storied history here at Biscay. It was damaged during Hurricane Irma. It took a lot of uh, time, money, and manpower to uh, to get it back to the state that it should be in. So um, uh, just another piece that we'd be very excited to have you guys come here and see in person. Um, now, I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have about the sitting room or anything Biscaya at all. Okay, so does it look like we have any comments or questions, uh, which is fine. So if any do develop, just leave them in the comments. We will be back and we can always respond via text. But we just wanted to say thank you to everybody watching here along with us. If you would like to come and see the sitting room and other spaces on the second floor in person, you can purchase your tickets online at Viscaya.org. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much.